Star Swimmer is someone who goes flying, and when someone needs to be rescued, we jump out and pull them out of the water. For us in our normal SAR jumps training, you know, we're back home, we're in an area where there's, it's pretty controlled, there's, there's no one you can be going in and out of it, you know, it's not the open ocean. So these junior guys to get open ocean training is really good, it's something they won't get back home at all. When the helo door opens, we're looking into the water ready to make that leap. What we feel is excitement. Excitement because it, here's a train that are finally being utilized. Once you hit the water, you're feeling an adrenaline rush because you want to try to go as fast and as smooth as you can in order to save this person's life. You know, you can sit there and you can see, you can see for miles underwater pretty much. And like it's so blue and you're just like, what is swimming underneath me? What, what, what other sea life is around? You know, you don't have, you know, a control of like, we have safety boats when we're back home. If something happens, they can come get us, you know, just like that. Out here, it's, you're at the mercy of the, getting that helo to you. So, you know, you just have to be on your toes at all times. Every now and then, depending on the situation, uh, we'll have to lower a swimmer via the hoist, and that could be due to any number of reasons, uh, whether it's uh, an extremely high sea state or if there's any debris in the water, which would uh, be unsafe for us to uh, deploy our swimmers the normal way. If I was put into the survivor's uh, position and I saw the helicopter overhead coming to get me, I, I would have a feeling of uh, extreme relief knowing that the uh, United States Navy is uh, coming to pick me up. Uh, they, these guys are the, uh, the experts at what they do. And everything, like all the training that we were taught, you're like, man, do I remember this? Do I remember this? As soon as this happens, everything comes back. It's just a, it's a rush of knowledge that just comes back into your head. And you're like, all right, I know exactly what to do. I know how to get this guy out safely. I'm not going to mess this up. Your training kind of kicks in. Get this guy on the aircraft that we can transport him to the closest medical treatment facility. I don't think you really think about your, your actions until a couple days later when you're like, oh wow, that, that guy's alive because uh, you know we went and did something about it. <laughs> 